Hi, um, just a very quick video today for a, uh, a watch I've had for quite some time. Um, this is the Casio G-Shock DW5600 and uh, the prefix on the end of it is E. Now the prefix um, typically reflects whether it's um, a tough solar, um, solar powered watch or a wave scepter radio controlled watch or various other variants along those lines. This is neither, so this is just a manually set watch, um, battery powered. Um, but it's incredibly efficient. I've had it since 2008 and it's still on its first battery. Um, it's much more um, power efficient than the only other digital watch I've got which is also a Casio. Um, this eats a battery probably every two or three years so Mind you, that's got the, uh, the the hands on it as well as the uh, the screen, so maybe that's why it's more power hungry. So there's not an awful lot to say about this watch really. Um, digital watch, incredibly tough. Um, it's comfortable on the wrist. Um, it's cheap. This was about forty pounds um, coming in from Japan um, because it was sent mail, um, sort of air mail. I didn't get the box with it. I did get the instructions which I've subsequently misplaced. Um, initially I wondered well actually is this too good to be true, was it a fake, but checking the forums um, it didn't seem that any fakes were being made of this watch at that particular time in 2008 so I think it was a good deal. Um, you can still pick them up for around about £45-50 um, even from UK suppliers with these. In terms of functionality um, you can see on the dial there you've got your your day, Sunday, um, your month, the, the uh, numerical day number of the month, so the 31st hours, minutes, uh, seconds. Um, you've also got an alarm and it's also got an hour chime function so it can go beep every hour if that's what you like. You've got a countdown function so you set that with the adjust button there as if you would a clock so you can say in one hour, one minute, whatever it might be you want it to beep and also you can set it to repeat so once you've turned off that original beep it will run that time again. Um, if you're using that functionality it will be running in the background but should you want that to be on the screen so you can keep an eye on it you've also got the time of the day clearly visible at the same time. You've also got a stopwatch, and that's got split time, as do most of the digital watches. I always get confused how to use that. I've never needed to use it, um, but it's there should you want it. Um, and that, that's really about it. Um, aside from that functionality, you've got a, a very good backlight, which I'll probably struggle to show you here, but believe me, at, at night, it's very very efficient in showing you what the time is um, but yeah I think you know if, if you're looking for a a sort of work watch something to wear when you're doing the DIY um, something you're not going to worry about too much but still has um, some nice design features comfortable rugged um, you could go a lot worse than this um, they do some interesting variations so you can get one with a uh, with a negative um, screens so instead of being black numerals on the uh, LCD background you can have it around the other way so really all, all that happens is they, they flip over the polarizing filter at the front um, you can do that yourself actually uh, but it's a bit tricky have a look on the internet if you want to do a DIY job on that um, but yeah it's really a great watch um, I enjoy wearing it um, one thing that I've always been tempted to do is to put a NATO strap on this. So you can basically take off these straps with these uh, screws here, or actually unscrew there, and then I think it's a pin, a sprung pin in the background, um, and pop on what are just uh, very short um, plastic sections which then take a NATO strap. Um, looks pretty cool. Um, you can get a sort of an exciting colour, bright orange, something like that. Um, and it really changes the look of the watch so I'd like to try that one day um, but apart from that um, yeah highly recommended it's seen me um, very well over the years okay hope that's useful thank you very much